Hey everyone, welcome back to SK06 programming. In the previous video, we discussed the logic behind the sum of digits of an integer. Now in this video, we will discuss the logic behind the product of digits of an integer. So here is the product function and this is the integer x. We will first take a product pro variable uh, of integer data type and initialize it to 1, uh, not 0 as we did it earlier in the sum for the sum variable as uh, uh, any number multiplied by 0 is going to be 0 and we will get the final answer as 0 so we will first initialize it with 1 and here's the while loop while x is not equal to 0 let's assume x as 45 so 45 is not equal to 0 true it will go into the while loop now product equal to product into x modulo 10 first we will ex extract the units digit and uh, insert it into the pro variable so pro is 1 and x is 45 and 45 modulo 10 is 5 so we have inserted 5 in the pro variable now it's not 1 it's 5 and if we would have taken it 0 then pro variable would have been 0 again and the next, next loop 2 the pro variable is going to be 0 so that's why we initialize it with 1 not 0 okay so the next step is x divided by 10 so we will extract 10th digit now 45 divided by 10 is 4.5 that is 4 as it is integer data type now we have extracted the 10th digit now we need to multiply units digit with 10th digit we'll go back to the while loop 4 is not equal to 0 yes it's true now product is going to be 5 into 4 modulo 10 so 4 modulo 10 is 4 and the answer is going to be 20 so we have got our answer now the next step is 4 divided by 10 and 4 divided by 10 is 0 0.4 0 will be the x now as it is integer data type now while x is not equal to 0 0 is not equal to 0 this is a false statement and we will come out of the while loop now we'll come here return pro we will return our, return our answer to pro function so only two formulas to keep in mind for such problems one is x modulo 10 for extracting the units digit and the second is x divided by 10 to extract the tenth digit this same concept is used to reverse an integer which we will discuss in the next video so let's come into the main function here is temp variable and we will put uh, the value returned by this pro func uh, into the temp variable we can also write it as directly as this the product is pro func we did this because uh, the value of product of digits is contained in this pro func only we don't need to we don't always need to uh, put this variable this put this value in uh, another temporary variable we can do this like this too so let's run it enter an integer 45 sum is 9 product is 20 yes let's try it for three digit three four five sum is 12 product is 60 yes we can also try it for four digit sum is 8 product is 16 so that's it it's working now you can copy this code and try it out yourself if you have liked the video then you can subscribe to our channel sk06 and enjoy the benefits of other videos too thank you